Colombia's best players get warmed up. They will be competing in the Street Child World Cup. It takes place every four years in the same country that hosts the FIFA World Cup. This year, it's in Doha ahead of the prestigious soccer tournament in Qatar next month. 28 teams from 24 countries represent street children from around the world, giving them a voice and an opportunity to feel valued by society. The event brings together teams of street children and former street children from Brazil, South Africa, Nicaragua, Ukraine, India, the Philippines, Tanzania, and Indonesia. Before joining the Street Child World Cup as a young leader, Sadok John played in the first tournament with Tanzania's team. He was raised by a single mother in a family of six boys. From the age of 12, he provided food for his family, but he also played football in the streets and was noticed by the football academy who enrolled him. Through Street Child World Cup, I wish to see uh, changing these young people like to be the good leaders in their communities, to believe in themselves, to believe that they are somebody, to believe that no matter what other people think of them, they will just keep going on to reach their dreams. Today, he is a fashion entrepreneur and teaches soccer to local kids in his community in his spare time. As a young leader, John helps young players in the SCWC by telling his story and encouraging them to follow their dreams. It is the first time the Palestine girls team has played football internationally and it is their first flight out of their country. The girls live in the Tulkarem refugee camp north of the West Bank in the city of Tulkarem. With no fields for football, they mainly play on concrete. أواجه صعوبات كبيرة اللي من ضمنها اللي هو المجتمع اللي عنا الشعب الفلسطيني كانت نظرتهم لنا إنه إيش بنت تلعب كرة قدم فهذا أكبر تحدي أنا واجهته طبعا التنمر كمان هذا إشي كبير إنه ستايل شاري وبرضو أنا كلاعب سبورت فهاي كان حاجز كبير بالنسبة لي طبعا أنا ما توقفت لهون اتحديت هاد اتحديت هذا الإشي وكملت وأصرت إني أكمل في مجال كرة القدم طبعا أنا بفضل هذا الإشي اللي أنا عملته أنا The project was devised by John Rowe, the CEO of Street Child World Cup, who was inspired by a young boy he met in South Africa. The first tournament took place in 2010 in South Africa. In success, an estimated 356 million children live in extreme poverty around the world. I volunteered in South Africa in 2008 with street children with my daughters. And we met a boy called Andile playing football. He'd been on the streets for 10 years. And he said to us, when people see me on the streets, they say, I am a street child. But when they see me playing football, they say, I am a person. I am a person like you. And that gave us the idea for a street child World Cup. The tournament does not only celebrate these children's love for football, it also advocates for the rights they demand, including identity, protection from violence, access to education, and gender equality. Many of the children have no identification, which stops them from being able to travel or to play in the World Cup.